All right, I wanted to show you how to format a text, and I figured the best way to do it is to show you how to write checks. Now, this is going to be a simplified check, um, but I did have some pretty characters I added in here from the extended ASCII characters. So I've got my vertical line, horizontal line, right, or top right, top left, bottom right, and bottom left. And I have just a see out statement right here just so you can see what they look like. I made them all cast over, so I've got to run that right now. And you can see these are the characters that I am going to be using for the borders. All right. So now that that's out of the way, I'll go ahead and delete this because you don't need to see this. I want to, well, get checks. And the first thing I want to do is declare my variables. So variables. But before I do that, I want to decide what are my variables I'm bringing in. Well, I want to get things like my check number, um, the date. Uh, who the check's to, who it's from, and how much the check is for. So I'm going to go ahead and ask all the questions, and then I will put the statements in to read them. Okay, so std c out. And so I'm going to have some question, and then I'm going to have an end of line right here. All right. And... Let's start with uh, this and just make us so five different questions. And this is going to be get data from users or user. All right, so first I want to get the check number. What is the check number? And I'm just going to leave these as, you know, just basic questions. What is the date? Who is the check to? Who is the check from? And finally, how much is the check for? All right, so my variables the check number could be a number, but it could be a string as well. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it a string because sometimes there starts with zeros and, you know, whatever. We're just going to keep it as a string. So I'll do a standard library string. So my check number. Um, check date. I'll leave that as a string as well. Check to and check from all right so those are all strings the amount is definitely not going to be a string so i will make that one a double so amount amount all right and in addition to the amount i really want to be able to break the amount into smaller pieces so i want to know the dollars and cents because those are kind of important for the check and so I'm going to do an int dollars and cents. All right. Um, in addition to these things, I also am going to want to convert this amount into some kind of a string so I can display it because usually I have some kind of text. So I'll add one more string in here. So I'll do uh, amount string. Okay, now I've got these things in place. I just need to start getting the information from the users. Now, I'm going to get full lines here. I'm not going to go with uh, just part lines. I'm going to grab the entire line for these first ones. So I will do STD, and this one will be a get line, and I'm going to get it from my CN, and it's going to be read into the check number check gnome all right so i basically have the same thing so i just copy this text right here and i change this to check date this one right here i'm going to change to check two and paste one more time and this one is going to check from All right. Now the last one, I'm just going to use a standard CN type thing. So I'll do STD, 
cn and I will read that right into my amount. So I've got the user's data. The next thing I want to do is convert my text. So I want to take my numbers and figure out how much the dollars and cents are and then create the amount string. So generate amount string. So first of all, the dollars is everything on the left hand side of the decimal point. And the nice thing is I can do is just do a static cast and get it quickly there. So dollars equals and I'll do static cast of type int and I'm going to grab it from the amount. So there we go. Now it's my dollars. The next thing I want to do is get my cents. So cents is a little bit more complex because what I really want to do is get everything after the decimal point. So I can do cents cents equals and the way I'm going to do that is by doing a static cast but I don't want to do a static cast of the amount itself I want to do a static cast of the amount times 100 so I can get all the cents shifted to the left hand side of the decimal point and that will give me a number which is basically 100 times the amount which is nice, but then I can do a modular modulo of 100 and then I can get all the remaining balance from the right hand side of the decimal point. So just the two digits in the, in the right hand side. So now I've got my dollars and cents. At this point, I can figure out how do I want to figure out the dollar and convert the dollar amount into text. Well, what I can do is a simple basic um, switch statement. And I'm going to do dollars. And for this one, I'm going to simplify it. I'm going to assume that the dollar amount is up to no greater than, well, uh, the most. Let's see. Probably, let's go with $5 just because we can make it easy. We can see how to do it further than that, but I'll do case. And if it's $1, then I will set my amount string to be equal to one and then put a space after it. And I probably need a break here. All right, now I can copy this thing right here, copy these three lines for two, three, four, and five. So I'll do a uh, two, change this to two, three, four, and five, and then change this to three, four, and five. And then I can have a default case, so default. And I'm just going to set the amount string equal to the empty string, assuming that there is nothing. And then I can end my case statement right there. So that should generate a amount string that kind of tells me how many dollars up to five dollars. If it was much larger than that, I would do different things like, you know, dividing by a hundred and a thousand and things like that and breaking out. But we'll stick with just this for simplicity. Next, I want to get my sense. So sometimes if you have sense, you say something like an and type thing. You say this one and something sense. So if sense is greater than zero, that means you have at least one cent and we know that the max is going to be 99. Then I'm going to do amount string plus equals and I've already got the one, two, three, four, five. And so I'll do equals this and, and then I figure out how many cents. So I will say I need to type cast my cents. And so I'm going to do that with a 
to string and pass it the number of cents to string plus so and then I'm going to add slash 100 and I'll go ahead and put a space after that all right so now at this point I should have some amount and it's going to be maybe one two three four five or none dollars and it's going to have some amount of cents and I guess I probably need to have um put the word and in here and all right so and some cents and then I'm gonna have the word dollars added to the end so amount string string plus equals dollars all right so at this point I have an amount string and it's probably correct next I want to actually format the check so write out the check so when I write out the check I want to have this check and it's gonna be 60 characters wide and 10 characters high so I'm going to do a C out statement so I do STD C out and I'm going to assume that everything is all lined up and everything like that and so we're gonna just go get started right here and the first thing I do is have my top left symbol so if I go up here you can see the top left character I'm gonna put that one there so I'm gonna print out my top left and after that I'm going to want to display up to not quite 60 but 58 of the horizontal characters so I've got the horizontal line characters so I want 58 of those so how do I do that well I'm going to check set my fill so I do standard every set fill equal to the horizontal line character that I have there and then I'm going to set a width so set W so for the next thing I print on the screen it's going to be 58 characters wide at least so standard right there and then after that I want to display a single character so I'll go ahead and set the horizontal line so it's inside of that filled area and then after that I'm going to have my top right character then after that I'm going to have my end of line so it seems like a lot but let's go ahead and do that for now and then I'm going to do the exact same thing for the bottom but this time it's gonna be the bottom ones bottom left and we're gonna the horizontal line horizontal line and we want the bottom right okay so just these two lines should print a well two lines that look kind of like well a check so I'm gonna go run this run my code and see what it looks like and so you can see what's the check number one two three what's the date January Jan 1 who's the check to Alice who's the check from Bob and the check for is a uh, 534 all right so you can see what the check looks like right now so it's got 60 characters across and it's just two characters tall okay I'm going to now go back to writing the code in between so what do I need in between on the top right hand corner of the check usually you have the check number so how do we do that well we put the check number we also have the person's name so I'm going to print the line the top line and see out and we're going to maybe have the person's name on the far left hand side so we well before that we guess we need to have the vertical line and then we want to have a standard set fill 
reconfigured back to a space. And then we want to have a some kind of width. So how big of a width do we want to have the name? Well, we could say maybe the name is up to, I don't know, um, so let's do 30 characters. And then we want to put the name. And the person's name is the check from person. So now we look at it and we have one character plus 31 characters. And remember, we have a total of 60 characters we can have. And then we want to go ahead and have um, the check number. And so we want to do a set W. And this one is going to be um, let's see, 60 minus 1 minus 31 minus one more. So it's 32 off of 60, which means we are left with 28. So we'll go ahead and do 28 characters. And then we're going to have the check number. Check number. And then we're going to have our vertical character again. And then finally, we have the standard end All right. So that's a long piece. There's one big piece I forgot here, and that is to format things and move things around. But we'll go ahead and print this out just so you can see what happens. So I run the code. And I put the check number one, two, three, four. And I put the date as January 1st. And the check to Alice. And it's from Bob. And the check is for four, three, two, two. All right. So we got Bob right here. We got the number over here. We want Bob to actually be on the left-hand side. So we're going to go ahead and move Bob's name to the left-hand side. And we're going to keep this number, move it back onto the right-hand side. Okay. So we can split this line into different pieces because it might make it easier. So we're going to go ahead and the from part we will keep over here. And we will just end this right here. And then we'll do std c out and continue the line. So what do we want to do? We want to have this be left justified. So we do standard left. However, it stays left justified. So we want to move it back to standard right. So this is line number two. So line one this is line two and this is the last line so line 10. all right let's go ahead and run this and you can see the code and see how it works and you can see check number one date is january check is to alice Bob and four, three, two. And you can see Bob and the number right here. Okay. Next thing we want to do is below that, we want to have the date. And we want the date to be right justified. So we'll go ahead and do a standard C out. And we still have right justified, so we're good. What we're going to do is just do a vertical line. And then we want to have a STD with well, set fill is blank. So we're good. We want to set W and this one is be 58 characters. And after this, we want to display or inside of this, we want to display the date. So check date. And then finally we end it with a vertical line and then we have our end of line character right here. So this is line line three. All right. So maybe we have a couple more lines that are going to be just standard lines. So standard C out because you want a little bit of space. 
we got the vertical line right here. We want to have our standard set W and when we get 58 and we actually need to print something. Otherwise it will do some weird. So we'll just do a single space inside of that 58 spaces. And then we'll do a vertical line. And then after that, we're going to have a standard and L. All right, so this is gonna be line four. All right, so line four can be copied as many times as we want just for blank parts of the check, just for blank space in between. But next we wanna do a pay to the order of type thing. So how do we do that? Well, we do another standard C out and we want our vertical line. And this time we want to have the text here, pay to the order of blank. So how many characters do we use here? Well, pay is three, space is four, and then this next is seven. Then up to here, we have 10, 11, uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So now we've used 20 characters in the pay to the order of, plus the VT it makes 21. We still have a total of, let's see, 39. And so now in our, we're gonna use 38 of these. So we'll do set W, 38. So STD, 38. And after that, we want to have our, our line thing to end the line and, and uh, but we still need to decide what are we going to put in this 38. So in this 38, we're going to have our check two. However, one thing we remember right now is that right after the check two thing, we typically have an amount. So we have to decide, okay, how are we going to display the amount? So we can subtract some of the 38 right here. And then we do this one. We want this to be left justified. So I'm going to go ahead and break this up. So we got STD left right here. All right. And then we do the check two and we can go ahead and break this. Then STD C out. Then we have this and we end it. But we want in this section right here, something about the amount. So how do we do the amount? Well, we want to set the precision to two and we want to make it fixed. So we do set precision to two. And that doesn't quite do it. We also want to do a, a do the fixed. So STD fixed. So we're going fixed with set precision two. And then we want to display our amount right here. Amount. All right. Now we also have an issue where we don't really know, you know, how much space the amount's gonna take. But we're assuming it's gonna be a check of $5 or less. So let's go ahead and take eight of them off of here and make that's 30. And so we can do a set W over here. So we'll do set SCD set W to eight. All right, well, let's go ahead and run this and see if we got line five correct or if we are having things missing or if things are not lining up. So let's go ahead and uh, let's see, run this. This is left, so it's still left. So we're gonna have to actually change this to right. So let's do STD right. Okay, now I'll run it. Run the code and you can see the check number is one, two, three, four. The date is January 1st, 
check is to Alice. It's from Bob. And it's four, four, three, two. All right. So we can see that we have something that is done incorrectly. This part right here should have been after it. But we're getting closer. So all we need to do is just figure out where do we print out our vertical thing. And we see we put it right here. We take this part right here. We cut it out. And we put it at the end. Right here. Okay. All right, next step is we want to have the dollar amount. So let's display that. Let's see, the, see out. And once again, we want the vertical line. And then we want to have the amount of dollars. So let's go ahead and just have it print out this amount of dollars right here. So we do a set, set W to 58 is going to be right justified. And then we want to have our amount string. And then I'll have our closing block right here. And then we'll have our end line. All right, so that will be our line, line six. And then finally, we have a bunch of blank lines, which can be like line four. So maybe seven, eight. Yep. Seven and eight. And then we have one last line right here, which is our signature. So this would be our line nine. And in this, we can have it be, it's right justified. And so we can actually put right here our check from person as their signature. All right. So this is kind of a messy thing. There's lots of things going on here, but it should give you an idea. So I'm going to go ahead and run this, run my code, and we can fix any mistakes we have. So check number is... One, two, three, four. Let's do January 10th, 2034. Check is to Alice. It's from Bob. And it's 4432. And we look at the check. Does it look right? We got it from Bob right here. We got the check number. We've got the date right here. We've got paid the order of Alice. We've got the amount right here. We have four and this amount of dollars. And then we have the signature in the end as Bob. You can obviously move things around a little bit, but this gives you an idea of how to format text. And this is my text writing, check writing program.